I want to show you the new optional tags feature. Um, and so here's the deck. This is the Anking Overhaul deck. And I'm going to show you how to subscribe as well as how to create your own. Uh, subscribing is as easy as on here. Uh, previously, you could go to manage protected data and protect your fields and such. In the same area, you can now manage optional tags. You can click that. And there's only one right now, but eventually there'll be more. I've uploaded it for the University of Utah, which is mine. And I would just check that box and I'll receive updates from those optional tag groups. Click save. Now, if I come over to Anki, and once you sync to Anki Hub, which I've already done, uh, it will download these tags. It may take, now this one you can see, I have 20,000 notes that have tags for the University of Utah. So it does take a little bit to download at first, but now I have all of these tags. And uh, creating a suggestion, if I wanted to change or add something to that, is pretty easy. Um, you can just go to any note. You can see here's the, op um, the Onking optional tag, which is what you put before any of these. And then here's the University of Utah group, uh, which is the one that I've subscribed to, and here's the tag within it. If I wanted to change that, I could change it here. And then I would just right click on that note and click suggest optional tags and it will say that if that's where it is. I'd click on that. If you're a maintainer, you can submit without review and submit those suggestions. It's very easy um, and, and that way people can create optional tag groups for whatever you want for study groups. If you want to make things go for your school, whatever it may be, that way um, this is a tag group that only people who have selected that they want to see it will get those, but the rest of the people subscribed to the deck won't get those. Uh, really handy way of organizing massive decks like this one. Um, so again, you just click here, click on that, and that's where it is. If you go to My Decks, you'll be able to see that. You can see here's the decks I've subscribed to. Here's the optional tag groups, and you can see here's the optional tag groups. Um, and this is it. You can see all the notes that have the tag and make suggestions. Uh, if you're a maintainer, you can click on the optional tags here, and, and um, you can see if there were any suggestions to this, you could accept or reject them here. So that's how that works. I want to show you how you create a new tags group. You would go to My Decks under optional tags, and then you can create a new tags group here. Now, I want to make one. This is for SGU. Um, it's the medical school, St. George's Medical School. There's tons of tags here, and I want to go ahead and upload all of these. So the first step to doing this is to create a tag group. Um, so I'm going to create a new tag group, and we'll call this SGU. And then this one goes to this deck. So you have to search for the deck. Um, so I'm going to search Onking Overhaul. And this is the one with by the Onking. That's the official one. And then I'll do tags for the SGU Medical School. Uh, the description, click Save and add that. And now you'll see there's an extra group here. Um, and I've been subscribed to that. So the next next step is that's that's your name of your tag group. That's important to remember, SGU. So I'm actually going to rename this one here so that it's SGU without the hashtag in front of it. I'm just going to rename those notes. And now if Anking, if Anki Hub optional, if that tag doesn't exist, then you would want to um, right click and rename and add Anki Hub optional here. Anki Hub optional colon colon like that and click rename and it would rename it. Um, I'm going to delete it just so I can show you the other method. The other way is if you click on the move button here, you can click it and drag it to Anki Hub optional. Um, and now it will become an Anki Hub optional tag. Uh, it's important that you do that, otherwise Anki Hub can't recognize that the tag um, is an optional tag. So now I've got that. Now if I were to click on it here, there's no notes associated with it. Um, and what we want to do is add notes associated to that. Um, now one thing that's also important to mention while we're here, if you click on this, I created this, but you can also add maintainers. So if you have a group of friends and you're all doing this together, I'd recommend making them all maintainers. Um, you can add them here. Uh, it just makes it much easier um, for the reason I'll show you now. Um, when you go to, now I need to upload all of these. So normally I would click this and do control A um, and then upload all of them. I'm just gonna do a subsection of them just uh, to show for speed's sake since it will take a little while to upload those. So I'm gonna right click here, suggest optional tags. And I want to do the SGU ones. And because I'm a maintainer, I'm going to submit without review uh, and go ahead and submit those suggestions. Uh, does it really quickly, submits all of those. And now if I go here, we'll refresh the page. And you can see it uploads all of those here. Um, so we have multiple things. And now if we go back to the main deck screen under the Onking overhaul, if anybody who's subscribed to this deck, if they click here, they can now go to manage optional tags and they'll see the tags that are available. And the SGU tag is now available here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload the rest of these so people can use them. But that's how the optional tags works.